Grand Rising, beautiful people, on yet another beautiful day. I am MFA Jarrell Howard Rochelle, and this is 51 Ways to Express Love to Yourself channel. I am here to walk you through, to guide you on the way back to your recovery, your healing, and learning how to love God and love yourself as you love others. Thank you for coming along with me on this journey. Again, my book, my personal book, my first book is on sale. Click the link in the bio below. You can purchase it on Amazon or have it come to the mail or sign up for the pre-order. But I wanted to tell you guys that and let's get into this video. All right, guys, so we're jumping into the first lesson of 51 ways to express love to yourself. And so the first lesson is, and I want you to write this down, grab a pen and a piece of paper, is you've got to learn how to ground yourself in something. Look, I know it's hard. There are so many moving pieces in life. Like, we gotta go pick up the kids from soccer practice, and then after we pick up the kids, we gotta cook dinner because no one put the beef out or the, the chicken out, and then I gotta get to my boss because they're emailing me, and then I gotta sign up for this one dance class, and then... there's so many things competing for our time and our focus, and what we need to do is ground ourselves in something. Now, I'm gonna give you an example, right? Because me, I choose to ground myself first and foremost in Christ. I wake up every single morning. I'm looking at a devotional. I'm looking at something that is written in the text of the Bible. I'm looking for his word to nourish my spirit, to have something to eat and sustain me throughout the day. The next thing I do is I go to the gym. And at the gym, I'm pumping and working on my body. I'm getting my muscles right. I'm getting my mind right. I'm releasing endorphins so that I can go through the day and the first part of my day I already feel accomplished because I already knocked out two, two things and literally, depending on my attitude and my effort, we have maximized the most of my time so I already feel like I'm winning. Then I go home and then I greet Maddie and Addie and our pup and then I'm feeling super accomplished because by the start of the day, I have accomplished three things successfully. And you know, success comes in consistency, right? And so whatever it is for you, and it might be different things. You might not believe in God like how I do, and that's absolutely fine. I would suggest you do, because getting you some Jesus is, I mean, the best thing you could do for you. But if that's not your cup of tea, cool. It doesn't have to be. But what I am asking you to do is to ground yourself in something that automatically gives you success. Because then you can ride that into the next thing. And you know what's also cool about grounding yourself in something? You know that it's coming. Life is going to throw so many winds and so many different oppositions and obstacles at you. When you got that routine, when you got that grounding in something, it gives you security for when those things come. You know, hey, this bill's due. Yo, I'm sweating. I'm breaking a sweat. You know, uh, 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 little, little Timmy's acting up at school again. I don't know what I'm going to do. Yes, you do. You're going to go to that thing that grounds you, that keeps you solid, that keeps you still, whatever that thing may be. So my encouragement this week, y'all, is I want us to write down something right now. We're going to commit to just one thing. We don't have to do a big, big insurmountable scale list. We're going to try one thing, just one thing that gives us that edge to where we know it's coming and we know that we can do it. I don't even care if it's five push-ups a day. That's how small goals get started. We do what we can handle until we've mastered that and then we add more. When I started going to the gym, I would go about two times a week, max out, hurt myself, then be out for a week. It's not about that. Do not max out yourself right now. Take small steps, small steps towards your goal. So I want you to write that thing down, commit to it. That one thing that you know you need to do that you've been putting off that can ground you in consistency because I promise that's showing up for you and yourself. And if you want to get to a place where you start to love and appreciate who you are, then you got to get back to keeping words that you said to yourself. That's the number one way that we can start doing that. Ground yourself in something. Comment below. Say, this is what my commitment is and I promise we are going to get there together. Step in step, hand in hand. I'm not going to let you down. This is Jarrell Howard Rochelle, 51 Ways to Express Love to Yourself. Check it out. The link's in the bio. Love y'all. Peace.